sometimes people are like, Jesse, your website is so simple and dumb. One of the more interesting things is when you're doing like a resume website, I don't need to flash. I don't need to get opportunities. I don't need to impress anybody with this. I just need the website to load really fast on a slow phone. So my website has the bare minimum of everything there. And that's why I keep it this way. I could probably stand to uh, update it more and do some things, but this keeps it real simple, real functional, no crazy designs. And as you'll hear today, Sometimes we're going to be discussing the thing of you need a little bit more flash versus you need a little bit more streamline and just get the job of what the website is done. So I see there's a website in here. Let's look around a little bit. So first off, I really like this bar down at the bottom. One of the main things in a website that people forget is that above all else, this is a first impression for people and most people are looking to get more information about you in a place that they'd prefer. This right here, this little traffic directory right here down at the bottom, that is pretty much as good as it gets. Then we have a nice little image here. Now, the one thing I'm gonna say is I'm cropping out a bunch of your band members. Now I get maybe that band member stepped on your dog the other week at a party, something seems a little rude. I think we could like shrink this down and make this a little bit better, feel like that. I don't love having a player on the website in general. Getting plays on your website is kind of a waste, and these players tend to annoy people. They tend to sound horrible all the time. There's this funny thing is to do these things. They need to host it on their own site, so then they compress the sound and they do it. You have told everybody how to listen to it on the proper places. They'll go there and do it. If they're actually curious, they're going to go listen to stuff there. But yeah, since I see you're a band that plays shows... One of the main things is if you're a big live music band, collecting email lists, email addresses, especially getting a zip code on them, one of the most important things you can possibly do is collect those email addresses because that's what drives people out to shows and how you target people. So since I see you play shows, that is very good. Perfect. I know this is a plugin uh, from something. I can't remember which plugin this is, but this is a perfect plugin to show where the shows are. It's nice and clear. You can see where it is. There's links, whole thing. There's a nice thing on the map so you can see where it is. Music. Yes, we like this. Now, the one thing I'd argue is you may be blowing, thumbnailing those down. If your plugin allows you to make the thumbnails a little bit bigger on the videos, you can't really read the whole title. You know, it's just like, it's not as neat as it could be. Bio, looking good. Yeah, this is about the length. I like that there's an influences here. I like that there's some clear pictures that people could do. The one thing you'd probably want to do is you'd want a non-watermarked picture. Here's a trick for everybody. Instead of having a watermarked picture, you actually put the photographer's credit in the name of the picture. So when people download it, it comes up with the photographer's credit. So they do it because a lot of publications, if they're doing an article with you, they're not going to do a watermark photo and it's not usable. And a lot of why you have the photos here are so that if somebody's writing about you, they can do that. They're not going to do that if the photograph's watermarked. Let's go to the tip jar. Love a tip jar. Love that you also put it with the proper uh, platforms here. Now, this new merch coming soon on the tip jar page, it's interesting because if people want to support you, it could be there, but that should be a separate thing up in the menu bar. Let's look at your contact. You got a phone number. You're very brave. Uh, and an email and the social media and a contact form. I would argue if you have a email address, you don't need a contact form. That's just clutter on the page. No need for that. Let's go back to the home because I saw we could do some scrolling down. Oh, okay. So we could see, see that too. Zach Talbert and the silver line. Okay. Well, you know, if that was on a more long screen instead of my very flat screen, that would maybe show up. The logo looks good. It's good branding. I feel good about that. I think we learned some lessons. So here's an interesting one. That just took a while to load. Now, why does that matter? There's all these website tools that can tell you how long your website took to load. And that's important because when people are not on good connections, I literally have, like, I pay for this insanely, insanely fast connection because I'm a podcaster and a live streamer and you need that for a living. I'm literally at work all day. I know a lot of you know I produce podcasts for a living for a bunch of big media companies. So I have to have the smart, fastest connection. The fact that that took that long tells me that you have way too many graphics and things. Yeah. So like all this is taking up uh, load time on that site. So that means everybody who's not a whiz like me 
who has this crazy internet connection or someone who's just walking down the street or at a club with shitty reception, that website's not going to load and they're not going to learn about you. The same thing I was talking about with my website for my personal self, the reason I don't have a lot on there is I want it to load every time because I just care about people getting information. So we've now, while this website's looking good, you got too many graphics. Now, if you build your website inside WordPress, there's all these like compression techniques, things, and they're like free plugins that you could put photo compression and graphic compression, and they'll take down the load time. Now, I know when we talk like music videos and all these things, we always want high res this, high res that, all these crazy nice things. The real thing is, is that while we always want those, what a website is, is it's information. So you're not serving the right purpose when it takes too long to load and then somebody can't get the information. You're defeating the very purpose of a website. Okay, let's look around at what else is going on here aside from that nerdy stuff. Oh, but you know what you can do? If you install Google Analytics on your website, which everybody should do, Google Analytics will tell you how long your load average load times are. So that's super, super important. Getting those down low is really, really important. So like our newest release, instead of this being a graphic, one of the things you could do is like you, you could embed here uh, a YouTube playlist of the whole record or the Spotify playlist instead of just a graphic. That would cut down on your time. Yeah, see so you have YouTube link here. Kill a bird with one stone. Now, a SoundCloud link. Unless you're a rapper who's releasing a lot of things on SoundCloud, you don't really need to put up SoundCloud on anything. That's a one of the first things. So our artist collective. Okay, so you got a couple different artists in there. These are amazing artists. Join our Discord server. Take me there. So this is another thing. This is redundant. Join our Discord server and then having take me there as a button. It should just be that the button is the join our Discord server. You're now making people scroll. So here's the other thing. No one scrolls even when they're really passionate about something. Um, so that doesn't serve you well. So here's another thing I'm seeing here. Up here in the top right or like right here on a menu bar, you could be having all these links to join the Legion, the Twitter, the Instagram, the Facebook. That's what most people are looking for. They're looking for how to follow you, how to get more information on ways they regularly know. So like you're not serving yourself by giving people what they actually want very well here. Okay, artist collective tab. Let's look at what this is going on. Ooh, yet again, really slow load time, man. Uh, and it's because all these fonts are really high, our logos are really high quality. Uh, you probably also have a bit of a slow server, if I'm being honest with you. But this is good. You got links to your community. I like that a lot. This looks good. They, you, The way you made it in this font is that, but you need to compress these graphics or speed up your server a little. Let's look at the releases tab. So yet again, kind of the same thing I was talking about. This should be something where they could just click and listen, embed it right in here instead of a thing. This is confusing to the user. The YouTube button's real small. I don't know why we don't have buttons for Spotify and other things like that. It's one thing if you're not into that, but that's a different story. Okay, so services. One-stop shop for the music and event industry from equipment rentals. Okay, so I see. So you're, you're, you're advertising that and then your contact. Cool. That looks good aside from that. All right, I'm going to the next person. All right, so yet again, we got a slow load time. Let's see what happens here. Okay, yet again, I guarantee you that this slow load time is this these this carousel of pictures is not compressed properly. So yet again, you're going to lose out on uh, opportunities because of that. Not good. Granted, the website looks good. This is fine here. Let's scroll down. Latest videos. Love that. Love that. We're getting right to the merch right after that. That's very good. Looks like this is most likely a Shopify, which is the platform I recommend everybody do things. In. Okay, this is also why your website takes forever to load is that thing right there. You got to get some serious compression going on that. That is... It, you could even compress the pictures before you load them up to optimize them for web. If you Google this for one minute, you can learn exactly how to do it. So this follow stream like thing, that should be way up further. People are looking for this. We've now scrolled way too far, especially this should be way before these pictures. Uh, subscribe for updates. I mean, it looks like you're a live band. I can see uh, this here. Here's another thing too. These Instagram embeds, while that's like fun and it looks cool on here. <laughs> Get rid of that. You're, you're just increasing load time on this page. The whole reason this page took forever is stuff like that, is that to load all those graphics. So we want to cut down. What we're going to do is you're going to make a different tab here 
of like photos and you could put the photos on that different tab instead of having it be scrolled down. Let's click shop. Yeah, still, man, the load time is brutal. Hey, but these merch looks look, looking looking good. Look at that splatter vinyl. Very polite. Got lots of good stuff going on. It's very nice. Man, even the video page is taking forever to load. Oh, uh, yeah, it's because you have so many videos, and it looks like the server is also a little slow. Uh, so, but yeah, I mean, uh, at the same time, I like that you have the playthrough live performance official videos. It's okay if your main page takes a second to load. That means somebody really cares. But we want that first page to load way, 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 way faster. I like that right below the contact, we got this. That's very nice for all the places they could find you. Well done there. I like these contact forms for those of us who don't want our email addresses going everywhere in the world. Now, granted, my email address is everywhere in the world at all times, but um, what do you call it? Uh, this is this is the good stuff. So I'd work on that load time for sure. It's a good looking website. Honestly, it gives the vibe of the band really well. Like honestly, these pictures are high quality, but you need to yet again compress and get this a little bit more streamlined. Okay, so I, I should answer this question while I look for this. Chase the Dice asks, what's your website making and domain hosting preferences for artists? GoDaddy, Wix, WordPress. Okay, I like WordPress if you're gonna do it there's a company called Media Temple. It's a little bit more expensive. It's two forty a year, but I put like a million different websites on it. Like honestly, some of my websites that I host on there get so much traffic. It's crazy. For two forty a year, I could do whatever you want. If you have a lot of businesses, you buy a Media Temple and you just put them all on there. GoDaddy is the scum of the earth. They are terrible. If your domain lapses, they then try to make you buy it back for hundreds of dollars. They are the scum of the earth. I am not, no fan of theirs. I like to buy domains using the site called hover.com. I own like 50 domains or something. Uh, I've done a lot of buying domains and then selling them over the years because, well, let's be honest here. Um, I'm a nerd. I've worked with a lot of different ones over the years, but um, GoDaddy is n n no good. Uh, I do not like Wix, but my preferred website platform, which there's a video on it that I made at the top of this year, it's the first video from this year, is about why I like to use Shopify. And since then, Shopify has gotten even more benefits because now you can put a Shopify store on YouTube too. So that is very polite. All right, we got Gallagher's Green. So first off, love the little menu bar of this. I don't love this button for merch. Like it look cheapens the site a little bit that like, it's just like this cheesy button and it's redundant because you got merch right here. You don't need to do that. We're dedicated to writing and performing real rock and roll tunes. Okay. So while I don't think that's the strongest pitch I've ever seen, I love that right out of the gate, you're telling everybody what they're getting here and what you're about. I love that so much. That's a hell of a first impression, but you see all this black space here. That should be up here. This should go here. No one scrolls on websites. So the more we get people to the point, the faster we do it, that stuff really matters. I've been a part because I work in media. We get these this stuff called heat map software. I actually talked about this when Matt and I streamed about how we can do it with emails, but we can literally see where everybody clicks and what how far everybody goes into a website. And like when you watch that stuff, it's insane how like literally like a quarter of an inch makes a huge difference. So like getting this stuff all a little tighter, like not having this black space here, like getting this so it would be right under the contact, then getting this here, then not having all this white framing. Like yes, some white space as we call it, where there's some spacing does help. Like you shouldn't go insane and have everything on top of each other, make it look like some weird artsy thing. But like getting things tight and the time it takes to do that really, really makes a difference in web design. Okay, so let's first do some scrolling down, then we'll get into the menu bar stuff. The one thing I want to say, though, with this bar, uh, SoundCloud first. Weird flex, but okay. Um, I feel like Spotify, you don't have an Apple link here. Like, there's much more important things to happen here first. And literally, people's brains think through these things. Put up the best impressions of yourself you possibly can. Okay, new release, DistroKid, Friday, 26th of August. 
I mean, I feel like uh, the graphic design here could be a little stronger. As we know, I hate promoting a pre-save, so you know I'm hating that. That's the thing. I would have the thing people could listen to immediately. I like the listen here. Don't particularly love that that button looks like it's from 1997, but that's a different story. Then, got it, live dates. Okay, so I can see this is one of these sites. So there's this old web trend where you continuously scroll through the website. So let's see what happens when we do this. Okay, listen over on YouTube. Same thing I was telling you all before. That shouldn't be visit your channel after that. That should just be a link. Then we got some videos. I like that these videos are blown up even if it's not the neatest thing. We could see the whole title, see things like that. That well, I bet you that transfers great on a phone where a lot of people do the investigation. Meet the band. Yeah, I mean, I got to tell you, I think this might, tab might be a little useless. And then you got to remember people when they're getting the first impression, they're going to click through this. Anybody who's doing this, they're going to be like, okay, well, I didn't really meet them. I just learned your names, which you could have just done in a bio or something like that. And that also shouldn't be like the third thing, like live. Let's see what this live tab is. Okay, that could have gone way before Meet the Band. Gallery, I, you know, this shows that you guys are looking cool. I like that for that. that that's a good priority. Yeah. Merch. Yep. Okay, that's good. We like that. Media. So this should be bio. This is not media. That's not what that means. Media means things you can consume. You're not consuming this. This should be your biography or about. So that's not titled properly. Yeah. And then the contact us is good. Okay. Beneath the Ruin. First off, yes, we got a nice menu bar here. feel like even maybe you could get some of your streaming sites in there. That'd be nice for that. Uh, obviously, this picture is a very, very good on-brand picture for a band named Beneath the Ruin. That's very, very sick. You kind of hit the ball out of the park. I almost wish you had a nice logo on this. Like, this logo looks better than that. And I'm like, why isn't that right there? Because that would look really dope on it. You know, get that right across the dark space here. Let's see what happens when we scroll. Okay, we got a video, our latest music video. I like that. Gallery, like I said, you know, it's funny though, is like, so you look at this here. I'm even going to just show everybody. Uh, this website loaded really fast. Here, actually, I need to do a shift refresh. Yeah, your website loads crazy fast, even though you have graphics, because your web server is better and whatever tech you're using is better. Nice compressed pictures. This will be updated when we have new tour dates. I like that. Wow, you're bold, putting an address, man. I, I'm never doing that for myself. I like that you have the about us, even though that's buried down here, but I bet you if I click this, yep, okay. This is a good length. I like the for fans of is in here. Since you guys are like a really musician band, you're gonna tell everybody's equipment. I like that too, looking for the endorsements. That's cool. I don't know that that's the, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess under the about page that could work. Um, Here's a good lesson. So this is not the contact page, even though you should have a contact page because I don't see that there. Yep, you got it down here, but there should be a contact up here to make it easy for people because we have to remember people are very dumb. I love that right here you have for the bookings in there that you can like have that. Having an email address and a way to contact you, it's amazing how many people lose opportunities because that's not everywhere. I try to, on my pages, because everything I do is about getting more jobs, better work. I try to have my email address everywhere because it's way more worth it to me. You know, my the sole goal of my website is for somebody to contact me to work with me. Whether I'm going to turn them down or not, which I turn down 99 out of 100 inquiries I get is a different story. I still want the inquiry. Your goal is to get opportunities. So having your email address a lot of places is really helpful. All right, I like these buttons, but yet again, still, I want some streaming. I want some Spotify. I want some Apple. I want, you got the YouTube here. Contact us. You got this form yet again, as we talked about before. So here's another thing, too. This is what I was talking about with art pieces sometimes. This form is a little fancy. Somebody who's not the thinking kind, as we like to say, uh, instead of calling them a fucking moron or an idiot, uh, somebody who's not the thinking kind may not quite get this and how to do it. So not so much on that, but I would stick to just giving your email address out. If you're giving your email address out, you don't need a, con a contact form. Plus also interesting thing, people are way more likely to contact you if you have an email address than a contact form. I think it's like the late, last number I heard is 15% or something. I may not have that totally right, but it's definitely 100% true. All right, we got a good event page. Looks good. You got tickets, got location. You tell where to book you. That's very good. Let's hit this gallery. 
So this is the same plugin you used for the other gallery. It's a good looking gallery. I like that it sizes the images appropriately. Looking good. Do you have some watermarked photos here? We discussed that before. If you have Pixelmator, you can always go in and remove the watermarks and retitle it uh, with the Band-Aid tool. Definitely have done that. Uh, sorry to Nick Car Carp, uh, my photographer. I know he wants to kill me right now when I say it, tell people that. But yet again, put your photographer credit in the title of the image, right? Beneath the Ruin, live by Josie the Pussycat or whatever the photographer's name is. Okay, so that loaded really fast, but look how much that graphic is. That's because that graphic is on a fast server with a compressed image. Loaded in a second. Cool graphic. I like the splashiness of this image. And this is the thing too, is like people, I'm not kidding, like even like that Beneath the Ruin one, you can have sick, good looking, high definite images, but the compression is what makes it so it works. We all know about compression with MP3s. We all know about these things. You can really, really get some good stuff if you uh, figure out how to do the compression right and use the proper things and then still have a good looking website. So I like this because like your branding, I see it's like Spacey Sounds is the EP. You got that. Click above to pre-save on Spotify. Oh man, you people are going to kill me with these fucking pre-saves. As we know, I hate pre-saves. I can't even bring myself to talk about it anymore because I've talked about it so much. Um, you can look at my YouTube channel. So obviously this website, it's, it's feeling a little old internet and we don't really always love that. Got some of my favorite bands named in here. American Football, one of my favorite bands of all time. Love Mock Orange. This is feeling... So here's a fun thing. Let's say you see a website that you really like. You can learn what they built it on by going to view source in any browser. And then you look for the uh, nomenclature of what uh, the website uses. So let's look through it. I'm, I'm sadly doing this not because I like it. I'm doing this because this feels like it's built on a very bad template. And I'm curious to see which one it is. But you can find it by doing this view source thing. It actually looks like, am I right that this is just built off code? All right, if so, good for your whoever taught you to code. This just isn't feeling like it could be, it's feeling like it could be laid out a lot better. I know it's fun to build our own things. I know it's fun to not spend money on things, but no one's going to scroll down this long to find things. Also, like when we use generic graphics like this, putting a picture that is not the dopest picture of your merch possible, no one's going to click it. People all the time are like, why has uh, no one bought my merch? And I look and I'm like, well, one, the pictures of it are terrible and they're computer AI generated, and two, your merch looks bad. This merch actually doesn't look that bad, but you're not selling it very well here. See, that looks great, and that being the image here would do you a lot better, but I will say this. Embedding your tweets in a website, no. Like, no one needs that. Just put a button. We have no directory button. There should be a directory button. Like, I got to say, like, this is just like, I respect that you built this and you did all these things, but like even this, you got all the space over here. So people are scrolling down forever and people are going to not scroll, especially on a phone. And this is just like a real waste of time. Like this is, I once learned the phrase vertical damage is a term people use in web design. And it like, it's vertically damaging to go like this for this long, like with the, a uh, mouse. Man, you even got Catherine wheel in the description. Another one of my faves. Respect. But yeah, you can use a different web platform and really uh, do this better. All right, so this one is taking forever to load as well. One thing you guys may not see that as much because I'm loading them down below when I copy them. Yet again, but we can see why. Like, great imagery, all that movement, that takes load time. Oh, yeah, the video is sick, though. Hell, yeah. Go off, kink. Oh, yeah. I mean, these are just great images. They need to be chopped down and compressed. I'm betting this was built on Shopify because I know this template. Anyway, okay, so this here, love love these buttons. Why aren't those up here or right here or something? I love that there's this like video player here like this that you could scroll through, get a great impression, especially since I clearly one of the strengths of this band is that they are you doing sick imagery. Like this imagery is fantastic, which you it's also like very genre appropriate. Like I talk about this a lot, but like 
the signals you show people that you're a part of their community by like, you know, doing it well, but showing some like similar imagery that works within that, like this, like this reminds me like, you know, like if I looked at this, I'm like, yes, this is a prog metal band. Like I could totally see like all the prog metal bands I know doing stuff like this and having like the angular font, the like, but yeah, overall, this is well designed. I don't love that. It doesn't have a directory of uh, where to go at first. Let's click around the tabs. Shop. So this is just the shop. Yep. I mean, the shop looks fantastic. Really ball out of the park stuff there. Love to see it. Your favorite prog nerds from my See, that's. So if like, let's say you're a person who is living down in the not free state of Florida, the hellscape state run by the fascist Ron DeSantis. And you see that you're like, oh, wow, I probably found my people because they just state it right there. I love to see that just like pop it out right there. Like that catches the eye. That's it. If you got a small, quick elevator pitch like that, that's the good stuff right there. Sorry, you're from Florida. I love that. Like you highlight all the names of the things you've been on. That's really good. That's looking good. It's kind of sick. Your singer's last name is Sig. Yeah, that's good stuff. I mean, it's funny because like there's this weird thing that with like metal it's such a band based around lore and people talking about things that like giving the story around this stuff could be cool oh love that too uh love alt image use yeah 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 i'm liking what i'm seeing here i'm liking that you're giving background and lore to the musician nerds since that's what this genre is all based on feeling good upcoming shows looking good releases oh i so this is something cool i like Talking about music can be kind of dumb, but every once in a while, just doing a quick thing where you can really contextualize people of like who are trying to get to know you on a website of what the song is about. If you really could create that curiosity, this is cool. To lecture an, an aura is a pre-migraine condition involving blur vision, blurred vision with a crescent-shaped kaleidoscope edge. Once the aura ends, an onslaught of migraine symptoms begin. This is like the type of shit that like me as an old jaded fuck doesn't always love. But like when I was a teenager, man, like reading this, this is sick. So I kind of love this for this band. I don't know that every band should do this, especially like if you're just playing some shallow rock jams to party to, you know, party rock anthems, you don't need to be doing this. But like, I love the, I'm not your puppet raised by greed, Mobius, like, because you know, let's be honest here. Prog nerds are also sci-fi nerds. I'm a sci-fi nerd. You know, I know about Mobius. I know about all that stuff. Playing into that culturally gives a lot of depth. This is really well done. I'm really impressed by this, if I'm being honest. Since they're a live band, I would have loved to see, let me see if I missed it, but now the mailing list is there. Okay, so that's good too. Let's look at the contact page. Yeah, okay, contact form. Love to see it. Very happy to see them killing it like this. Good for them. Let's go to my buddy, Andrew Megaton Leviathan. So I'll do the caveat. Andrew and I have chatted before, so I know him. Here's a smart move. Showing relevance. Fantano has talked about you. Great. Come out of the gate and tell it. I think on a previous stream, a uh, member of the community, Mikey Mayo, had Fantano discuss his music, and I'm like, dude, lead with that, dog. Lead with that. Fantano is really relevant. If you have really relevant stuff being discussed and showing people that you're important enough to be discussed, show that immediately. Um, so a lot of you won't know this, but Andrew played with the band Chrome. If you know who Chrome is, you're like, yo, that's fucking cool. Most people don't know who Chrome is. I'm a nerd for that stuff. Chrome is a really sick band. They've made a couple records I really like. Also showing that he's been touring, been at it for a while, but, but it, you know, there's this funny thing of that, like in some genres, like in hyper pop, you don't want to be like, yo, I've been doing this forever because it's like, great. Why has everybody been ignoring you? But like in metal, it just shows like, yo, you, you, you've been at this. You clearly show you're relevant. I like these photos. I don't know that I'd put them on the first scroll page, but yeah, I like that. Okay. So this was made in Banzoogle. So he's got, uh, sub traffic directors, as I like to call them, of where to go. But, you know, obviously I want to see the streaming stuff. We've talked about that. Let's hit the store. So here's an interesting, this is the first time this has happened. The store goes somewhere else. And so sometimes your website is not your commerce place. So that'll be a thing that happens. You can 
always do that. You can always link out. It is fine. There's nothing wrong with doing that. If your website and your store is not one of the same, it's cool, dog. You're you're going to be fine. We were just talking about lore. He's got it right here. Yeah, provided a lot of context. He's been at this for a minute. I like this. I like that he's telling you, if you haven't heard of him before, what he's about. Okay, here's an interesting one. Sometimes when you put contact, some people are not very bright and having an email list set up, they think that that's just like you're going to get back to them. That's not the case. Having an email list sign up on your contact page, will probably the only page to not have an email list sign up because yet again, there's a lot of people who are not thinking, really thinking challenged people out there and they're going to mess that up. So just have that, get rid of that. So here's an interesting thing. He has media last before contact. Contact is generally last. Even though we want contact, people actually are so trained from behavior over and over again, clicking at their little Pavlov's dog, that they always think of contact being the last thing. Cool. Yeah, this is kind of the same thing we saw before. It's just a thing. Yet again, though, uh, the Banzoogle web player. That ain't it, Chief. That thing is cursed as it gets. Okay, this is from Dead Sapien. Okay, so there's a drop down to receive the emails. I'm all for that. We used to hate those. Okay, the one reason actually I'm going to recant that is this graphic's a great first impression of that email is not. I would find a different way to try to get the email because covering that up is malpractice of a good first impression. I like that there's a traffic directory. Yet again, there's not enough of a traffic dire directory to show where the streaming is happening and we ultimately want people to stream. Instagram is redundant because you have it here and here. You do not ever want redundant things on your page that close. I like that music comes second. That's very good. Let's see what happens when we go down. Okay, so we got a little streaming player that you could click. Then, okay, so there's a guitar tab, a t-shirt. So we got the merch. It's not spelled out so much that that's the merch. I'm not hating it. I'm just not loving it. This is, again, like, you know, like, I've, I know we've scrolled longer on some, but we're just not getting a lot of wow factor, like the same picture repeated like this, this like player doesn't feel very good to me. Like that imagery at the top is so sick, but like all this scroll down, it's not feeling very good to me. I'd almost like, uh, you know, to quote uh, Lars Ulrich's dad, uh, I would delete that and then just let let this be stuff you link out to. Let's click, see what happens when we click music. Cool, you know, nice little player. I feel like you could do a little bit better with the player. You know, people keep in mind, you can go to your Spotify page and click copy and embed code, and you can embed your Spotify player for your album, your single, anything, anywhere. The Spotify play button is one of the great, great advents of sharing technology. So uh, you can always do that. Rack up your Spotify plays even more from people going to your website. Oh, so this is an Instagram embed. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those. The shop has more stuff. I like that. Okay, feeling good. Got that. So then this link here, you're like, well, what does the link do? Like, why would you click that? Let's see. See, that goes to Spotify. I bet you it's that uh, they didn't choose the thing, right? Now, here's an interesting one. This one has this let's chat bottom. This Is this the cursed s Facebook chat thing function? All right. That's, I don't like that. I really don't like that. I'd much rather see a contact than that. That's, that, that's, ooh, yeah. Uh, even if you're like one of those people who's on Facebook all day, which God help your brain, that just is not feeling great to me. People want email addresses. You got to remember one of the other things to remember is you can't always make people behave the way you want them. The way people are used to behaving, they're going to behave. And most people are used to behaving by sending emails to the people they contact. This is my buds, church girls. Church girls are a cool punk band. I've done some chat with them before. I've seen them live. All right. So. I'm glad I clicked this. Great, great first impression. So here's also why Church Girls is a really telling thing, and this is a great way for us to close. They're like a very, I don't want to offend them, but I'm going to use a term that may not be totally accurate, like no frills band. Like that band before that had like the neon graphics and all this crazy stuff and sick cuts to their videos. That's not their vibe. They're like a simple punk rock band. But even though there's simple punk rock band, like all those bands do a terrible, terrible job of presenting themselves because like they don't want to be tryhards or whatever. But this looks great. Like this nice little logo of the uh, house up here, the font, 
They present themselves. They tell you why they're relevant right from the top. They got a Spotify stream. They got a little bit of a curiosity thing down here. They tell you exactly how to find everything you want. I swear I didn't even plan this to be this because I have not looked at their website. I don't think uh, when we've talked on calls before, but uh, this is actually extremely well done. Okay, so then we got this. So this is their record. They got a nice review before the top. I bet you if you click this, goes to Bandcamp where – Culturally, for punk bands, that's where a lot of people do consumption. Like they're in Spotify and Apple Music is where a lot of the consumption is. Just as I said, you know, you're a white rapper, you're making some obscure, weird electronic music, having the SoundCloud link, great. If you're the band playing the local pub, do not have a goddamn SoundCloud link. They got the Spotify in Bedford right out of that. New song Basement, new song Separated, got the videos. Look at that. Also, this website loaded very fast, even though it looks great. Isn't that nice for us? Bunch of nice reviews, nice press photo, so that if somebody needs it, you got relevant info. Live and audio tree. So if you're in this scene, that means a lot. It shows that, that they're a relevant band. You do an audio tree thing. It's kind of like a mark of that you've graduated from local band to doing a little bit better in the punk indie emo scene. They got a lot of good stuff here. Loads really well. Let's let's see what happens when we click new stuff. Okay, so this is one of those sites. I can't remember what they call where it's continuously just like jumps around like where you should be. See it like just scrolls down to wherever the thing is. It's all on one site. And like they do this. Pretty sure that's like a Squarespace innovation, but WordPress has it too. Sp Shopify has it too. I don't always love Squarespace for websites because they can't do as much optimization and you might as well just pay for WordPress if you're going to pay that much or Shopify, but they also are great looking websites at times. So you click tour, you got this here. Now I know these guys, they're total road, road dogs, guys and gal, I should say. I would be like trying to blow up that font a little. Their touring is very uh, important to them. They do a lot of it. They really hustle. So I would call Providence to that where there's more dates, music, got your Spotify. So glad I did this. Perfect. Instead of having their album, these guys have been at it for a minute. I think they got more than one release. So it's like they instead have the best first impression. So they took their Spotify playlist of their top tracks. So it's the best first impression of their catalog. So it's not just somebody clicking and hearing your one minute intro on your latest record as their first impression. It's like, no, here's the first impression. They have their latest song, Telepathic Mind, which as I recall is doing well for them. Great. There's the first impression. Great stuff. Killing the game. Then we got their very good-looking merch presented well. Sign up. So here's the, actually, I would tweak that. It's funny because these menu bars, you know, they want to keep it nice and congruent. So, like, I guess sign up is good. But I'm, like, a little torn. Is there something better? But maybe I'm not going to figure that out on the live stream with two minutes left. But, like, what do you call it? I feel like that's good. I love that down at the bottom they have say hi. We are church girls at Gmail. They got prominently there. Contact. Look at that. Looking good. Feel like they hit the ball out of the park and that's perfect place to end. As always, thanks so much for watching.